Welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. Today, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use Hierarchy Builder Transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. Before we go on to a hands-on demo, let's look at the characteristic of a Hierarchy Builder Transformation. In order to use this transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer, you need to have a Hierarchy Schema already defined. You can define the Hierarchy Schema either by using a XSD schema file as an input or by using a sample XML or JSON file. You can also create a hierarchy builder transformation schema on the fly while creating a mapping designer task. This is available as part of the properties panel. Once you have a schema for the hierarchy being created, you need to go ahead and create a mapping designer task and pull hierarchy builder transformation into the designer palette. You need to define the appropriate source. If it is more than one, you need to see to it that you define the appropriate keys for these sources and the relationships. Now let's go ahead and have a look at a hands-on demo on this. Let's go ahead and log into Informatica Cloud Portal. And as a first step, let's go to configure hierarchical schema and define a new schema. I'm going to name it as demo builder and I'm going to use a sample file in order to define the schema. Now that we had defined a schema, let's go ahead and create a mapping. Let me first select the sources. In this case, I have two sources and there is one hierarchy. chosen the first source. The second one has the root element. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop hierarchy builder transformation. Let's select the schema. You can go ahead and define a custom position. A custom position is going to define the total number of characters or buffer used for the output XML which is going to be generated in this case. Connect the sources to the hierarchy. Resolve name conflicts if any. Since we have two sources, we need to define what is the relationship between these sources. First, to start with, define the primary key in both the sources. Then, define the relationship bet between these sources by defining the foreign key in one of those. map the appropriate fields. In this case if you look at it, book is the child object and books plural is its master node or the root node. Hence I am going to the source which has the root node. output field over here. Now 
you need to define a target in this case we are going to select a flat file I'm going to create a file during the runtime with extension XML. I'm going to have a formatting option with no text qualifier and other delimiter. I'm also going to configure the header option as no header. This is very essential to have a target XML being created without any appending, prefixing double quotes or any header. We see it's a valid task which is being created. Now let's go ahead and run this task. If you need to schedule this, you might need to create a mapping configuration task so that it can be scheduled. But if you are to have a mapping task, you need to select a runtime environment in order to run it. Let's have a look at the file which has been created. This is the file which was created. And as you could see, the root notebooks has child node book and the XML is successfully created. With this we come to the end of the demo. Thanks for watching this video. We would like to hear from you. You can always mail your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or live a tweet as twitter.com info support.